and this stuff is fun for me to talk about. Like, I love statistics, right? And there's this thing, it's called the Pareto effect. P-A-R-E-T-O, Pareto effect. In other words, it's like the 80-20 principle. And we've been talking about this with, with, you know, with you guys a little bit, but it's this principle that in any organization, um, 80% of the work is being done by 20% of the people, okay? Um, and really, it's even worse than that. It's even more drastic than that. If you took wrestling as a whole, I think I said this statistic to you guys the other day, okay? All the winning that's done in wrestling at every single level, okay, from the little kids level through the middle school, high school, and collegiate and the world championship level is done by 5% of the, the competitors. 95% of the winning done by 5% by of the competitors. I think that that's huge, okay? Um, there's some statistics about the California State Tournament, and I'll probably post those. But it basically, 910 schools were represented at the California State Tournament, okay, which is a lot, okay? Um, far more than any other state that I can think of, okay? Um, but 10% or the top 10 schools had, four, had 11 of the 14 champions. I'll say that again because I said it confusing. There's 910 schools represented. The top 10 schools had 11 of the 14 champions. Okay, that is a staggering statistic. So the bottom 900 got three champions out of the 14 weight classes. This is like some true Spartan type stuff. Like our, our 10 people are gonna fight 900 people, okay? And we would dominate, okay? So the key is how do we get into that, okay? How, do we, how does that affect our training, okay? And this is why we spend so much time on our stance in motion, on penetration, okay? Because with our wrestling, you have 100% of your moves, right? Where you're gonna do 20% um, uh, of your moves, 80% of the time, okay? So 80% of the time, we're hitting doubles, we're hitting low singles, we're hitting fireman's carries, we're hitting swing singles, we're snapping, we're doing stance in motion. That's what we're doing the majority of the time. Every once in a while, or 20% of the time, we'll hit an inside trip, or an underhook throw by, or, uh, or uh, some sort of throw, or a foot sweep, or something outside of our 80%. But, and, and so we have to simulate that in training. This is why in training we spend 80% of our time stance in motion, okay? And we can change it and change those percentages. Like if you go into the Oklahoma State room, I would dare to guess, and I, I feel like I have some strong um, evidence of this, that 80% of their time is working on stance in motion. They're working stance in motion every single day, all throughout practice, okay? If you go into the Iowa Hawkeye wrestling room, they're working on snapping every day. So they're snapping all day, every day. They snap at the beginning, they snap to warm up, they snap when they're going live, they snap at the end, okay? So whatever you're gonna do, you gotta do it a lot. You gotta do it a lot. But that is the 80-20 rule in a nutshell, okay? And it does affect your training, it does affect how you compete, Okay? And I even think at the, at the bigger tournaments, right, when you get to a state championship or a, uh, an NCAA championship, well now you've got to use a little bit more of that 20%. It might actually switch to 60-40 because, you know, if they shut down your double leg, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're not just going to lose. You're going to have to go to that other 20%. But maybe at the state tournament or the national tournament, it becomes a 60-40. And you're doing more skills. You know, and I have to be willing to open up and try stuff that I don't do all the time because uh, I got to throw the kitchen sink at this guy to win. Okay, and that kind of gets back to like uh, my best wrestling was really done when I was losing. Okay, when I was down by a point, when I had to look up at the score, I go, okay, only way I can win this match is if I open up all the way, and that's when I really, really saw my best wrestling. Okay, if I could win easy. If I can win and control you, you're probably not going to see me do max effort stuff. You know, you're definitely not going to see that other 20% of my skills. But if I'm behind, now you're going to see everything I got. So that's just something to keep in mind as you go through your training.